everybody, this is Sean Powell. Listen, every once in a while, I wind up doing some new training, um, you know, for a new system, whatever it may be, Exus Elite, Power Elite System, whatever over the years. Um, and I've got a new whole training series in my three generation bonus training. And basically, they're about five minute videos or something like that. I found this video here, it popped up as uh, one of my Facebook lives. The quality is not the greatest in the world. I'm in North Carolina. The uh, internet was not the fastest back then, to be honest. But I think it's still going to serve its purpose. There's really no sense in me redoing uh, videos that I've already done. So with that being said, I really want you to, uh, to observe this. And the fact that uh, this is training, go with what you've got. Because a lot of y'all are intimidated or think you're supposed to be at this level uh, you know, if you're going to do YouTube videos or whatever, it's going to be it's your way of getting out to people. So enjoy this video, y'all. It's about seven, eight minutes long. And just take in everything it says, because I really think this is really what a lot of y'all need to hear. It's a really good video. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Hey, everybody. This is Sean Powell. I thought I would do a Facebook Live. I hope the quality is okay. Uh, the, one of the biggest reasons I always wind up using uh, YouTube is because of the simple fact that my my quality is always at the highest in the upload. Come here, kitty. My kitty's going crazy with the cord. Uh, but the, always the quality is higher compared to me trying to do uh, Facebook Live. And where I live at, I don't have the best internet in the world. Um, but I wanted to do some training. I might start doing a little bit more Facebook Lives if the quality looks like it's good. One of the biggest things I've noticed, y'all, is that a lot of people when you start uh, in online business, they have a tendency to they think they got to be involved in this certain area uh you know when it comes to marketing or whatever and i want y'all to understand that when i first started online business you go with what you've got and really you being excited about something and your enthusiasm and you applying action is going to be more than you having some really polished uh youtube channel where you got all these mickey mouse stuff jumping around the screen and stuff like that if I had to choose between having all that to begin or just, you know, letting go, finding the business I believe in and letting people connect with me, I would take that every time because that's what that's what people are looking for. They're looking for someone to actually connect with, you know, that believes in the business, that's applying to action, that's going to be accessible. And anybody can be that person where, you know, at the beginning, if I look back, you know, I started my YouTube channel now quite a few years back. I got over a thousand videos now, but you know, I look back to when I first started y'all and I want to show you what I started off with. I had an old S3 phone and to be honest, even though I was very computer oriented, my boss man where I worked at in the restaurant made me get a phone. Uh, I just didn't care to have a phone. There's one of the reasons is because all the employees that worked with me, the phones were a problem. You know, so I was the guy actually telling people to put your phone away and keep, you know, I was seeing a bad viewpoint from it, you know. And uh, I'm going to tell you something else, too. For when I got my phone and uh, me and my little boy are taking vacations and stuff, and I wanted to take a lot of videos and pictures of my little boy, um, you know. So when I got my phone, that same week, I had bought a $4 stand off of eBay. Now, I will tell you, I did not have any idea that I was going to start online business when I bought this $4 stand. And I will tell you, the day that I started online business, it came in the mail. And it was just, it was almost like God knew that I needed this possibly to continue what I was about to start. So here I was sitting at my kitchen table with a $250 old S3 phone. I didn't know how to edit or anything. Matter of fact, I'd mass record and had to run around the other side and sit down and start talking about it. But all I knew at that time was I had a huge burn in my belly and I, I couldn't sleep. And I felt like, you know, I, I needed to get this out. And that was enough for me to to want the mesh record button and just get seen. All my videos were I told them who I was. I told them what I felt, what the business meant to me, what it could mean to me in the future for me and my little boy. And then I gave him a call to action, action and showed him the way in. That was it. That was it. This was me sitting at my kitchen table with a, a, you know, my little S3 phone and a four dollar stand. And I did that. And I really had gotten to the point, y'all, that I wanted my business more than I gave a damn what anybody thought. And some of y'all, you're going to have to get to that level. You have to get to the point where 
you want your business more than you care what anybody's you know thinking about you or or you know watching you and you're scared you're going to you know fail in front of these people and and i will tell you at the begin at the very beginning i kind of had that same mindset but what helped me was i thought out of the box a little bit if you don't know i've got two facebook accounts one's for family and friends and i kept that separate and then i've got one that's just this one right here that i do for online business and the most beautiful thing about that was I didn't have to worry about my grandma and all these people I went to school with, maybe people I worked with watching me. Cause I think that's got a lot to do with, with people when they first start off, they're scared. They're going to be embarrassed. And what's worse is your family and friends, when they see you doing something and it's all on business, almost always the very first thought that pops in their mind is Amway or something like that, you know, and they, they don't know what you know. They haven't seen what you've seen. And though family and friends do try to help you often, they they wind up hurting you more than helping you because of the fact that you know that they're, they're, you're kind of embarrassed in front of them thinking about what they're thinking about you know what you're doing and stuff like that they're scared that you're going to start hitting family and friends and stuff like that, trying to get them into your business and i learned a long time ago y'all your business is going to be built by strangers and so when i freed myself up with my own you know facebook account that had none of my family and friends i didn't care if i screwed up and, and the, one of the most beautiful things is every person that I friended on this account knew me from this account as, let's say, the, the Power Lead Systems guy, or I was the Exus Elite guy, or now I'm doing Press One Cash. I'm the Press One Cash guy. You're talking about an easy way of being branded into a company by every person that sees it. So my whole timeline is, is a place for me to be a beacon for my business. And that's what I use it for. I use it to show, you know, me and my little boy taking vacations and stuff like that. But a lot of it on a regular basis is me doing proof, progress, welcome, congratulate, uplift, and some training. That's actually what I do on my timeline itself. And and it's always based upon the business that I'm doing. Now, the reason I really wanted to say this, y'all, my buddy Frank Calabra, when I first met him, he still had a flip phone. And, you know, and I just want you to understand how important it is to run with what you've got. And your message is way more important than worried about what kind of intro you're going to have for your video or outro or all this Mickey Mouse stuff bouncing around. If you focus in that field, you will evolve. You will get better. You you may come to that point, you know, or whatever. But let me show you this too. I, I brought this also in here. I did not have a computer when I started online business, right? And I went to the pawn shop. This was a $165 Hewlett Packard that I paid for. Um, it was used at one time while I was making YouTube videos. The fan got so bad off, I had to take a screwdriver and cram it in the side of it. And I kept getting out the people. You know, it just wasn't going to stop me. But I will tell you, when I first made six-figure income in any business, it came from me applying action with free software that I was using. It was called Debut. I didn't have any editing skills at all. All I knew is I was excited and I believed in a business and I needed to get seen and heard and I needed to get comfortable doing that even when the money wasn't there. And I hammered away at it. And this $165 laptop is how I made six figure income. Now, obviously over the years, I've gotten new, you know, newer computers and this and that. But the whole point is y'all, you run on what you've got and, and you're going to evolve. And don't compare yourself to someone who's been doing YouTube for five years or 10 years or has made, you know, six or even seven figure income. They, these people started like you did. And the most important thing is you don't quit and understand your message is way more important than what kind of software you're using or whatever you're doing. So I just wanted to, to uh, actually address that in this video. Um, if this comes out good, if the quality is good, I might wind up doing some more Facebook lives. And, uh, you know, just if there's anything particularly you'd like me to do, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can't do a video for you. All right, y'all. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. I just want you to understand that this was two and a half years ago. So that's a younger, more attractive me. Uh, <laughs> I probably weighed probably 15 pounds less. Something like that, that's for sure. But if, if you realize, y'all, when you do online business and you find businesses you believe in, What's going to happen is sincerity is going to be a big part of it. You believe in what you're doing. You believe in the business. And every time you open a mouth, the right things are going to come out. Does it have to be perfection? 
No, it's not. But I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for telling people what I know because of me applying action. And that's exactly the answers that you're trying you know, to give these people. It's not perfection. It's about people connecting with you because you have joined something you believe in, that you're applying action, and then you have made yourself accessible. Those are the three things you need to make it an online business, to be perfectly honest. All right, y'all, I'm just going to add this to the training in the back of uh, my three-generation bonus training. I've got about 26 videos I'm adding right now. As a matter of fact, I've, uh, I've got about nine of them completed uh, process, so I'm going to be uploading. I just thought this would be a really good one to add to the collection. And to be honest, it's kind of timeless. It doesn't matter if it was 2019, 2022. I've got videos from 2016 that the truth is just the truth, and that's all it is, y'all. All right, y'all, with that being said, I appreciate you watching.